everyone. Oh, cutting some limes up. Um, so this is Vlogist 19, day 19, and as I said, I recorded all of my footage from when I was at the gym yesterday, and oh, I am so sore today. Oh, my chest, my back, my legs, my butt, it's all sore. Luckily, I found my husband's, and now mine, glutamine. Okay, so I'm gonna insert the footage from my day yesterday. Literally the oldest elevator in history. Okay, so real quick, I'm just uh, killing time in between my chiropractic appointment and I have a massage appointment. Oh. So I'm just at the superstore. Look at this, this is insane. That is a size small, as in size six for a six year old crop top. Backless crop top. No, no, absolutely not. What? What six-year-old is wearing a a backless crop top? That's just insane. Okay, so I'm just about ready to hit up the gym. I did not think my hair cut through. Now I'm limited to pigtails for updo, so that's great. I remembered everything that I need except for one thing. Can you see what it is? It means I'm not going to be able to listen to my own music, and I'm not very excited about that. So. Gym music it is. Okay, so I'm going to start with a warm-up of rowing. Last time I could only do 500 meters, I thought I was going to die. So today I'm going to try to do a thousand. And I'm thinking about you, Erin, life of a wannabe fit girl. Let's see if I can do it. That was a quick, almost five minutes. I don't, feel, I don't feel like I want to throw up, but I feel warmed up. I'm gonna lift some weights. Lift heavy. Getting the pump on. It's pretty good. Well, if any of you guys are wondering if you can burn calories lifting weights, um, that is all from just lifting weights. My heart rate got up to about 166, 170 max heart rate. So yeah, lift heavy and burn lots of calories and build lots of muscle, which will then continue to burn fat long after you train. So I'm back at the superstore. Post-workout, this is where the gym is. It's right in the superstore. Now I look like a complete moron walking around with pigtails at the grocery store. It's not a, not a great moment for me. I look so stupid. I couldn't, I couldn't leave my car off. It's too hot. I don't like the heat, as you probably know. So the air conditioning is on. I just can't get over how stupid I look with these. People were, well, I don't know if they were or not, looking at me in the grocery store like, what is that girl doing with pigtails? Anyway, so I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but I, it's a really big long term. I'll have to look it up and put it in. That basically means my skin doesn't like changing temperature too quick. So when I was working out and hot, and then when I went into the cold area of the grocery store, I now have hives all over my like body, like torso and legs and behind my knees. It's really annoying. I first got it. I first got them when I was a lifeguard in the winter time at an indoor pool and that's the only thing that does it is like temperature change on my skin. Isn't that weird? Um, so today was a big long day. I started out with a 
mammogram at 8.40 in the morning. So I had to leave the house at like 7.30. I'm 40 now. And I had kind of felt like a lump or something underneath, but not like, anyway, TMI. It was like under my skin on top of one of my ribs, close. And so my doctor sent me for an ultrasound and while I was there, they just did a mammogram at the same time. Ladies, it's not fun, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So anyway, the doctor came in and the radiologist and he said that it was a lipoma, which I didn't really know what that was, so I had to look it up. As one would do. Thank you, Google. And it's like a, I don't know. Anyway, it's not cancerous, so that's good. Because um, there is history in my family, so I just wanted to get checked out. There was a sign that said if I was wearing deodorant, I needed to take it off, wipe it off. Which was not a good thing. Because I went to the gym, and by the time I was done and I was getting changed, I was like... That was a bad idea, taking my deodorant off this morning. Anyway, I will have a shower when I get home. Lori, you'll be so proud of me. I found this chair. You can't really see it, I'll put a picture in, but yeah, I'm gonna fix it up, clean it up, and so you guys know about chalk paint, you can use chalk paint for everything, everything. I'll start doing some before and afters of projects that I've worked on. Oh, it's sunny. I've got this precariously set up on top of, I kid you not, my purse with like my eyeshadow and some vitamins. It's pretty high tech. Gonna fall? I'm pretty sure that was it. I have a terrible memory. I should be taking ginkgo biloba. Is that how you say it? As well as Siberian ginseng. Um, it was a good workout. I felt a lot more comfortable in the boys weights only room. It's not really just for boys, but just you walk in and there's all the beefcakes there. And anyway, I talked to more people today and met people and had somebody come over and offer to spot me when I was doing the chest press. And I did front squats and I realized that I'm a lot more comfortable with front squats balance wise than I am with back squats. I'm gonna have to work on that. Did some really, really nice deep, deep, deep squats though. I was impressed with my form. And I did deadlifts and I, I wanted to keep things going. So I alternated with other things in between, like during my rest time. And so yeah, deadlifts, squats. I don't get to the gym very often because we live so far out of town. So I have to do like whole body. So I was there for a long time, but I thought of the people that do CrossFit. I thought of Aaron and uh, the guy from Howling Fit. I don't, I ha I'll have to figure out your name. And leave a comment below if you like doing CrossFit as well. I feel kind of like an idiot trying to do CrossFit stuff at a regular gym, but anyway. Um, Okay, I think that's gonna be it for today, for my day. Thank you for sharing the day with me. I am doing my best to get caught up, trying to prioritize time with my family and and everything with Vlogist and the Journey to Health Club, so I am trying my best. I do have everything saved in a playlist, so I will definitely catch up over time. Might not be before the end of August. Okay, so you guys have a wonderful weekend. Because like I said, I think I'm going to release this on Saturday. You guys have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to you soon.